Um, okay. So career aftermath. Uh, Diddy, what will happen with his businesses? This is disgusting. Guys. <laughs> wow. Um uh it, it it feels like um when it comes to his businesses, he again, like I said in the beginning of the reading, he's like he's kind of isolated. So people most people are not abandoning him they're not abandoning him he's the one who's dis distancing gosh i can't say that word anymore he is dis dis distancing himself in order to save the rest of his businesses so like what did he he stepped on as ceo of whatever he still has equity in this business um so he he's trying to stop money from uh he's trying to stop losing money out of his businesses by just stepping away creating an island for himself saying oh no i'm not involved in this don't worry about this i'm not involved but on the low is he on the board of something does he have majority of stock ownership and whatever does he still make the decisions behind the scenes yes um so his businesses are going to be fine because he's stepping away from them but he's still financially entangled with it um will he run out of money giving with giving payoffs it, it he's he's um he, he it feels like it feels like he's thinking like i said creative accounting he's thinking of ways to move his money around um i think that's actually going to make things worse because then he may they may even say that he's like tampering with evidence or something like that um but it does feel like for some time he's going to have very shaky finances he will he will very very shaky finances um you asked if he's going to if if he's going to recover no if if he's going to clean up his ways a little bit a little bit so here this is i mean this is like the sex trafficking prostituting like what whatever it is you can think of the little freak offs whatever like it's still there but yeah he's going to clean it up a little bit and he's going to try to become more family friendly He'll, he'll try he will try but deep down it's still like it's still going to be there this is serious narcissism by the way serious narcissism he hides everything with a smile and um will he recover professionally so this is not giving me that he's going to so in the earlier in the year I felt that he's still going to remain the top of the food chain. This doesn't exactly feel like it to me. It feels like he's still going to have a career, but mostly he's more worried about recovering his money. So it does feel like he's going to recover his money little by little, but he won't be as not nearly as wealthy as he used to be. <sighs> Let me ask... Um, but again, again, I mean, this this could change, guys. It really could change. Because it, it does feel like whatever he's doing with his money, that can make things, that has the potential to make things worse. Because it feels more like they're going to get him about money, not necessarily the sex trafficking or drugs. It feels like the money part is what they'll get something There's going to be um, either by the end of the year or by next April, it feels like there's going to be like an, another big development from this. Um, and it, it looks like it's going to be 
because of whatever it is that Cassie says. So nine months to a year. Well, within nine months, to, well, okay, within a year, there's going to be another big development um, with these lawsuits. And it feels like it's going to be because of information that Cassie supplied. Um, but in terms of like repercussions, like it, it does look like he's going to be in and out of the news for for a long time, actually, for a, a pretty long time. He's going to be in and out of the news. But it feels like, again, like the government um federal government they're going to have a hard time proving a lot of this stuff they're going to have a hard time proving it um and it feels like a lot of what they have depends on financial transactions yep they're working they're working on it Working on it. November, December, November, December. Ooh. Mm. November, December. Jay Z. Jay Z is gonna be. Uh, oh, look at this. November, December. It does. It looks like Jay Z. Like there's there's something that Jay Z is gonna be fighting against as well. November, December. November, December. Jay Z came up randomly. <sighs> let me let me ask the questions about people specifically. So someone wanted to know if if Diddy dangled Wale from a balcony. Feels like yes. I mean, if it, it feels like it's it's kind of exaggerated. It's it's kind of yeah. It's it's kind of exaggerated. Um, but like the energy is close to dangling. <laughs> it's it's kind of close to dangling. It feels like Diddy kind of cornered him somehow. Why? I don't remember them dating. Why don't I remember that? She's like, oh yeah, she's a Virgo. She's like, I've moved on from this shit. I, I've moved on. She does not want any part of this either. She's like, she's getting ready to defend herself as well. She feels like she knows it's coming. It's probably not. It's probably not. But she, she's like, mm, y'all better not come for me with this bullshit. <laughs> you better not. And she's showing up twice of like, I've moved on. Do not come for me with this bullshit. These are both of my Virgo cards, by the way. I have moved on. Don't come to me with this bullshit. She's coming on strong. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. Um, she's coming off strong. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. She doesn't want to answer. She's like, leave me alone. This is her again, Virgo. Leave me alone. Okay, girl. <laughs> oh, Cameron, Cameron, she's coming up. She, she's Cameron. She's telling me, um, she's just like, she's like, I have a happy life. Um, I love my friends. I have moved on. It even feels like she's, she's trying her best to not pay attention to it. She's just like, I'm, I'm Ray Charles to the bullshit. And she's just like, I love my life. I love my family. I love my friends. I love my home. Leave me alone. And even even here, 
Like, it does feel like something is going to be written about her, but it's going to be flattering. It's going to be flattering um, about the Diddy situation. She's just like, please, like, just stop. Like, she's still here to tell me, leave me alone, bitch. <laughs> she's like, don't do a reading on me. I won't do a reading on you, Cameron. I won't. <laughs> Uh, Diddy and Meek Mill. Let's see. What the fuck? <laughs> Yes. 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 Were they in a relationship? Yes. What was the nature of their relationship? Very passionate affair. Yes. It's almost like Okay, not not all of them. It's it's like, you know, the way the way that that this happened cuz with Fonsworth, it felt like Fonsworth attracted or approached Diddy and Diddy was like drunk or high or something and they just did whatever. But with um uh what should we call it with Meek, it's almost like Diddy is just like, yeah, you know, you want to be a star, so, you know, Cause I I felt like oh was Diddy pimping him to like executives? It's like no, that's not how it started. It started I was like oh you want to be a star? You know I mean here it is. Like, this is Diddy here. This is Diddy here. And I asked if this is how it is for all the rap guys. Like no, it's not for all of them. Not not all of them do this. Not all of them do this. It's not all of them. But the feeling I'm getting is that they they have to go through Diddy somehow in order to like be approved or whatever like mainstream but not all not all of them sleep with him they don't <laughs> i asked that three times guys I wonder if that's the reason why Nikki and Meek broke up. He was sneaking around on her. He was sneaking around on her. I asked if Nikki knew that he was sleeping with Diddy. She was like, no, I thought he only liked women. She, she thought he only liked women. Let's move on. Um. Uh. Da, 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 ba, 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 ba. So how how does Shine feel about the allegations? Let's see. He's like, you should have paid her. You sh you should have paid her. You should you should have paid. He's like, it would have been smarter for you to pay. 
I'm seeing I'm seeing these as like working girls. So like these these are the ladies that he was like setting up on whatever. He's like, you should have paid. You should have paid them more. <clears throat> Idiot. Should have paid them more. That's the first thing that comes up. You should have paid. I think like most of these people know. Most of these people know. Well, Tupac and Diddy. <laughs> like, um, I can try. I can try to ask that question. So I think I have read on Tupac before a few years ago and I got something. Did they fight over a woman? Um does any does anyone know cuz I I was I was a kid when this happened. Does anyone know if they fought over a woman? Cuz it it kind of feels like they fought they literally fought over a woman. Like the the relationship between those two was nice. It was very nice. But then they they had an argument over a woman. One one woman. I don't know who exactly who it is, but it was one lady. They had a fight over one lady, and it feels like like Diddy was the one who ran away. He was the one who ran away. He was talking mad shit. I'm talking about Tupac. Tupac, not Biggie. Tupac. Um, Did Diddy was the one who ran away. He he. It feels like he started it because of something he said. Um, and he he ran away. Like it feels like they got into a physical altercation over a woman. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a lady that that one of them was in a relationship with. No, I don't I don't think it's faith. Um, because I'm talking about Tupac. I mean, I don't even know if I would know who this lady is, but it feels like they got into a fight over a lady. One of them was in a relationship with her. Diddy was, it feels like Diddy is the one who started it. Um, and then he ended up running away from the fight. No, it wasn't Jada. It wasn't Jada. It could be some like random, random ass lady that like nobody remembers. But no, they had before, before um, the shooting, beautiful relationship beautiful relationship gorgeous gorgeous energy between those two and it was not sexual <laughs> it was they were friends it was not sexual <laughs> between Tupac and and Diddy or Puff Puffy at the time um okay Yeah, he's he's bisexual. I mean, well, you know, he is bisexual, but he prefers women. He 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 prefers women. Yeah, I mean, despite him pimping them out, beating them up, or whatever, like he 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 he, he I'm stuttering, I'm stuttering, guys. <laughs> he 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 prefers women. It, I don't. I'm not getting hate hatred of women. I'm not. Because I think that's what that person was asking. Does he hate women? I'm not getting hatred of women. He actually quite likes women. He quite likes women. No, he wasn't. No, um, it actually, no, he actually, he actually really did care for him. He did care for him. No, he wasn't. Nope. That's a that's a really strong no. No, he wasn't. And he still feels um he still feels upset about that passing. If actually that feels like grief that's going to last for the rest of his life. 
didn't that it's gonna like that's the first time i'm actually feeling something like human from him that grief with that that friend it's gonna last for the rest of his life for that person no he wasn't involved um okay now on to the oh so people want to know is he spilling is diddy spilling tea on other celebrities yes but it's limited so he's he is talking but he's talking about financial deals from a long time ago he's not really saying anything incriminating look he's fucking sneaky he's not saying anything incriminating yeah he is he is he is to save his own neck but it's like really old stuff so so like it feels like the people won't really get in trouble anyway it's old stuff it's old stuff let me let me show this to you guys it's old and show me put this out here very old stuff um but yeah he is He's, he's saying some things. I but I don't oh is he is he talking about different couple of parties too? No, he's not he's not talking about those low free golf parties. He's only talking about money. That's it. That's it. And it's like it's really old stuff that's like not even relevant. Um and What's the other thing? Will his children lose favor over this? He has daughters, right? It feels like the girls are far removed from it, so they're not, like, people aren't really even thinking about them, honestly. They're not thinking about them. And it does... Oh. He's pouring so much money into whatever this, like, spiritual work is. I'm going to get to that, to that question. Um, he's putting so much money into that spiritual work. I asked if he's protecting his children. Like he he has them in the spiritual work of protecting them. He he is. He is. But it feels like the the daughters know because they're like far removed from it that nobody even like pays them attention really. They don't they don't really pay them attention. The daughters will be fine. Um Ooh, the sons may, the sons may, because it looks like they're involved with whatever it is he's doing. They may, they may, maybe one of them. Ooh, more, more is coming out about one of those sons. It could, it could be just one of them. It could be just one. Who is his spiritualist? <laughs> He's paying a lot of money for it. Uh, let's see. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to ask these spirituality questions. So does he have any... Oh. I mean, I've been saying it throughout the entire reading that yes, he is going to like getting work done. Yeah, he's getting spiritual work done. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, does he have um, in terms of like, because the, the actual question um, people were asking is, does he have any spells against other people in the, like, in the industry?
No, he he mostly focuses on um, on himself and making sure that his money is straight. Um, and he also has uh, protection for oops for his children, his and people he considers family. Um, in terms of other people, mm, not right now. Not right now. It feels like it's a no. Not not right now. It's it's a no. Like it. Like he's mostly focused on money, um, and his kids, money and his kids, success, owning things. That's that's what he mostly focuses on to make sure that he's fine. If people end up getting screwed in the process, then, like, sure, you know, that's okay. But like, no, his main focus is his money. That's it. His money. That's it. <clears throat> Cause he's he's concerned about generational wealth. Generational wealth. So, that's who he. Um. So they asked, why did he get a tattoo of? And I'm gonna mispronounce this because I don't. I don't. This isn't the work that I do. Easily Danto. Um. Some. That's that's an entity he works with. For his career. Hmm. Yeah, the energy is heavy. <laughs> it is, it is heavy. It's very heavy. So, I mean, I guess that's one good thing to say about him is he's not out here, like, hexing people. Right now. For now. <laughs> um... So, okay, so is Diddy protected by an entity or other elite individuals? Well, he is protected spiritually. Oh, they're telling me I need to stop asking questions. <laughs> They're not, they're not answering this question. Um, let me ask it a different way. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think my guys know that it's, it's a bit much for me. <laughs> um, but let me try to answer the rest that's in here. Just don't, um, just don't, uh, don't ask any more questions. He's being protected spiritually. Um, there's also like a a heavily feminine energy, like a really big feminine energy around him as well. That's also protecting him. Um, in terms of elites, uh, if he was, it looks like not so much, not so much right now. If he was in the past. What does Diddy think of the current trajectory of hip hop in the music industry? I mean, I'm sure he has bigger things to worry about <laughs> right now. But let's let's see what he says. He's worried about other things. I mean, he uh, he still he still thinks that that music can be music or money can still be always money. Money can still be made, but he 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 has a lot of things to worry about right now. He has a lot to worry about right now. 
he he thinks that the industry as a whole is in trouble it's it's in trouble um as a whole not just music but like everything entertainment as a whole he thinks he thinks that um there's there's still people who work on their crafts and everything and there's still people who are happy to produce music um but that it's it's in trouble it's still it needs it needs work it needs love and care um it needs people who are really good with their words and he feels like that's lacking these days mm, how do how do the industry head honcho see diddy do they see him taking the heat off them or do they see him as one of them well i already yeah i already i already said that they they low-key support him the industry in general they low-key support him clive davis is still alive <laughs> the hell how old is that man uh let's see did he kept showing up in nikki's live because he has something to do with her money and also um if you remember, I did that live maybe two days before the FBI raid. So that's probably, that's also probably why. Because towards the end, I was like, oh no, this is this is his stuff. You're going to hear all this stuff about child sex trafficking and all this. So I think he showed up because he has something to do with, um, with messing with her money or clearances or something like that. But also because he was, his, the raid was about to happen like two days later. Two or three days later. That's why I ended up posting the Nikki video so quickly because I was like, oh, I, I was just talking about that two days ago. Um, what does Clive Davis think about Diddy? <laughs> Clive Davis knows. He knows what Diddy's like. He knows. He feel he feels like Diddy was reckless. Diddy Diddy was reckless. They 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 all fucking know. And I mean, and the people who don't explicitly know, they hear rumors. They know. They know. They know. He knew about Diddy. And they in general, all these other head honchos, they know. They know. But Clive specifically thinks that Diddy was being very reckless. And again, he's another one who's just like, you should have just paid these people. You should have just paid them. <laughs> so it could be just Diddy's greed that really did him in. Diddy's greed did him in. His greed did him in. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, despite what's happening, yeah, they see Diddy as one of them. Look at this, Pierce, Pierce. Look at this, Pierce, 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 Pierce. No, all love, all love, listen. A lot of these people support him. They won't come out and say it, but a lot of them support him. They support him. Uh, okay. Are the allegations about... What are the allegations about King Combs? Someone elucidates. Uh, that one. That one is weird as well. Um, that one is super weird. It feels like it's going to be talk of the town for like a couple, like maybe two months, two or three months, but then it just kind of goes away. Like it kind of, it kind of goes away. Hmm. A 
allegedly feels like like at least the the abuse the physical abuse it feels like yeah you know that's yeah yeah allegedly for entertainment purposes only feels like yeah yeah feels like yes um but the the other stuff um well or maybe even that like it it's talked about for a couple of months but then it just quietly goes away goes away <sighs> all right guys i'm done two hours and 30 minutes jeez louise jeez louise <laughs> jeez louise again um this stuff can it can it can change it really can change um but it, it does it does feel like he's not like prison i don't know i don't i don't know at most probation house arrest something um i don't know prison i don't know dude i don't know um all right guys that is it for the diddy extravaganza um someone remind me that i need to do a naomi campbell video a, do i need to do do i need to do a naomi campbell video i don't know i don't remember whatever videos that i said that i would do someone please remind me because my brain is fried <laughs> my brain is fried right now i am gonna watch some cat videos i am gonna talk to my grandma <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do oh city girls so send me just send me a dm send me something um and i think i'm gonna eat some fig newtons because <laughs> i have a headache guys this is disgusting 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 but again i've and i know when i say it people don't like it when i say it but it's just like spirit continually tells me that this is hollywood that's how it is that's how it'll be They'll clean it up for a little bit, but that's just how it is. Um, all right, guys. I hope y'all have a lovely rest of the week. I hope you guys survive Mercury Retrograde and this bullshit-ass solar eclipse. Okay, because it's been a wild one. Um, and, you know, oh, also... Um, I made a lot of changes to the websites. Um, just go to www.tywiremoka.com. Um, I made it easy for people to choose the timing of when they want readings. Um, I also added a tip jar just in case anybody wants to give me anything. You don't, don't feel obliged to just because I brought it up, but I added it there because a lot of people were tired of sending me things through PayPal. <laughs> so it's on my website and it's on Etsy and also, um, Oh, wow. I, ne I never made this announcement. I also have the, um, I also brought back a lot of love readings. So the future partner reading it's back. The, will I find love? Will I find love is back. Someone also asked me to upload, um, a reading specifically for people who have celebrity crushes and you guys want to know, do you have a chance? So I, I think I'm going to add that probably next month. So if you want like majority love readings, there's going to be I have some love readings on my website, but the majority of them are on Etsy because that's what most people are interested in on Etsy. Um, so just check out the Etsy shop. Um, check out the, the website. It's a little bit different. Um, yeah, just check it out. All right, guys. What a reading. What a reading. All right. Bye, guys. If you would like a personal reading from me, then please go to my website at www.terabymoko.com and click on the book a reading button from the homepage. From there, you will be redirected to my shop, which includes categories for career, future forecasts, general inquiries, love and relationships, personal growth, as well as options for expedited delivery. I have a spread for almost every occasion, but of course, love and relationships is the most popular with readings for your future partner, no contact, Will you ever find love? How does your crush feel? As well as sugar daddies. And if you do not feel comfortable purchasing from my website, then you can find me on Etsy under the same name, Tara by Moko, where I have the same exact readings that I have on my website. And for those of you who would like to learn how to read the tarot, then just visit my blog and there you will find a series called Learn Tarot With Me. 
There, I will provide definitions for the cards, as well as tips and tricks to help you become more intuitive with your tarot reading. All right, thank you guys so much for checking out my YouTube channel. I hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.
Thank you.